once again welcome to my workshop um, today I took on a job for a friend and that was to mount a rather fancy uh, brass lock mechanism into a standard door an oak front door well I started to do the job and uh, immediately ran into a huge problem whereas this is the new template for the new lock this hole is already in the door with the old lock. 12 millimeter um, out of sync of this so it new means hole. When this new lock is mounted on the door, the hole that's already there is there's like a half moon showing out through. So what do you do? Well, he'd already asked the um, supplier of the lock. Well, is there a backing plate for this? to get over this problem and they suggested that he put a new door on so of course when you have this sort of equipment uh, that I've got in my workshop well you just make back in that cam I just um, drew this out as in a, a CAD CAM system and um, asked it to pocket these holes out in the, the various I got places I CAM to do the strategies for the machining and uh, saved it onto a stick and of course I got the material which is 100mm uh, um, by 3mm thick uh, brass so now I'll just slice this off and I've got to make a, a simple jig to hold the brass plate on uh, just clamp it there as I did the copper to uh, be able to, to, to machine it out but uh, just a simple bit of flat Malamine board, and uh, it's really a simple job. And uh, I'll show you the machining of it right now. After cutting it off in the, the saw, it's probably better. So I always do anyway. Is just take the sharp burrs off because otherwise I end up cutting myself. Because I'm going to make several of these uh, backing plates, um, what I've done with a very simple jig, um, I've clamped this actually down onto the table, making sure that this datum line here is absolutely parallel with the front edge of the machine, which means everything else is going and to so be square. I can change, uh, I'll put a new plate on each time. I have a X and a Y line on here, so I can line the piece of work up and just clamp it down like that. Okay, the first operation now is these four 10 millimeter holes which are going to appear hopefully there. Okay, so that's just punched through to the other side. Nice clean holes. Now the, the next operation is the 54 millimeter hole down in this area here. Yeah, you'll notice uh, this is the second one, uh, second plate, and I've actually changed the material that I had it screwed to. Uh, the previous material was um, a little bit warped, and that was the result of the um, uneven cut.
so that's the um, finished item as it comes off the machine. Um, obviously this time, uh, the second um, attempt, well, it's a lot better. Awful lot better. And if you notice here, um, within ArtCam, when you're machining something like this, you, can, you have the opportunity of actually leaving tags to stop the piece of material from flying around um, when you come to the end of the cuts and that is one of them. So uh, we shall take it off here now, break off the little tags and um, then put it on my sander and um, see the end result. Okay, so I can cut the piece of work off the, off the bed, just break the tabs. And you can pull a lot of it off with just a pair of pliers, like so. Of course, these are very sharp, they're like razor blades. And just a little tip uh, this is the one I did, uh, the first one I did. Um, if you notice the brush, um, brush metal look, well this is how they do it. I'll just run through the whole process, I'll show you the whole process of um, actually getting all the burrs off and getting that brush look. So here we go. starting to come. item ready now to actually go straight under the door okay so I, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this very small uh, project and I hope you've learned something from it because uh, I have and um, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time bye for now